Hi everyone, this is Jerry3904 from the MX Linux Forum, and I'm here to present a new application that arrived with the MX21.2 point release for Fluxbox. It was created by the talented user Melber, who developed also the comfort style that we use in MX21, and then it was reviewed by other users as well as by MX devs. It's called MXFB Look and it will show up in all your menus. Uh, show you, let's first hit the logo key where you get Rofi. If I type in look, there's MXFB look right there. If I go to the app finder, XFCE app finder menu, the same kind of thing. There MXFB look is again. And then if you go right click on the desktop and go to all apps, it's actually in system which is a little bit of a mistake when we were developing it. But it's easy to, to uh, find it in all sorts of other ways too. So it's, it's fun and it's easy and I'm going to uh, dive into it now quickly and just see how it goes. Okay, so I've, I've opened up the application and this is the first screen. It tells you that you can either save whatever the desktop is, uh, the look of it is, or you can restore a, a look that you've already saved. Then it gives you the definition of what we mean by look. A look is actually just a collection of theme elements that you use. And so these are the kinds of things, whatever the GTK theme, icon and font, the Fluxbox style, up to two, ten, two panels, the Rofi theme, the wallpaper, and one conky. So I, before I save this look, actually it saves automatically. I'm going to make some changes so you can see, so we can see the, what happens here. So I'm going to delete it. I'm going to get rid of these icons. Delete, I'm right clicking them to get rid of them. Delete. I'm going to, out of sight, I'm going to um, toggle, auto hide the dock. Then I'm going to do the same thing with out of sight T toggle the conky. And now I'll bring back up my application and I'll say save the current look. Click. And I'm going to call it the default look um, underscore modded haha -ha. okay and save look look has been saved as default modded great cool now let's just let's do another one I'm gonna put this down submit this here and I'm going to um, start by changing the wallpaper appearance wallpaper I'm going to use one of my favorites there it is right there, Tangram. You remember in Fluxbox you can go Alt-Tab in the right hand corner to get it a little uh, smaller and I'm going to apply that. Okay now I have the, this, this uh, Tangram screen but I don't like this uh, Tint 2 panel with it so I'm going to click the wrench and bring up go to the Tint 2 Manager. I'm going to uncheck that Tint 2 we have and I'm going to go with uh, one that I like a lot called Simple Clean and apply it. There we go. I can close this now. Um, I can close that. So I'm getting closer. Um, that's that's not bad. Why don't I just start with that? We'll make it nice and simple. So I'll go back to my um, MXFB look and I'll say let's just save this look. It's got simple clean, it's got uh, the Tangram, so I'm just going to call this Tangram. Tangram. Save that look. It keeps showing you the uh, the screen for um, the simple screen recorder when it refreshes. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to minimize this again and I'm going to 
uh, change the wallpaper to this nice little bright fellow. Now I don't think simple green is going to work at all, so I'm going to open it up and uh, click on Tint to Manager and uncheck that. And I'm going to try um, vertical down. I kind of like this one and apply it. All right, it looks better. And enough of that. Close it and close that. And I want to add, um, I'm going to add a uh, monitor because we haven't talked much about monitors. I'm going to right drag it over to here. And then I'm going to hold down shift and page up to go through a few of the models that are possible by the skins. And there's one that is transparent, which I think would be, there it is. There's one that's transparent, which I think would be kind of nice. So I'm going to make this my last my last um, look. I'm going to save this look. What am I going to call this? I'm going to call this bright red. Save look. And there we go. We should be good. Thanks. Close this. Okay, so there's all the setup. We found the application. We created three looks. So let's go ahead and make use of it. Uh, I'm going to go back to Rofi and there's my FFB look highlighted. And I'm going to restore a look. And it'll tell me about the ones that are there. I'm going to start by restoring the default look. Well, let's go default modded, which is what I did. Restore look. There we go. It looks like it. The conky will show up. And no, I took the conky out. Okay, and the the dock is over there because I I made it auto hide. So that worked out fine. I can go back to that original. Let's try switching on. Uh, what else did I do? The tangram. Do that. It lists out the elements just so you think that's right, and I'm going to restore that look. Isn't this awesome? I mean, this is just plain awesome. It can do this, you know, I'm, I'm going to waste a lot of time on this. I think actually to close, I'm going to put it on my, men, my desktop menu. Go settings, configure, menus, appearance. And I'm, I like it do it, see desktop monitors. So it's got to go right here. I'm going to copy this just so I don't have to reinvent it. Control C, copy it. And I'll put a space exec and I want to call it look. Look, and then we know that it's MX F. B dash look so look um, yeah that's right so let's uh, save that and exit from here and then we have to refresh the de desktop remember refresh and now let's see if it's there appearance there's look, will it work? Ta-da! There it is. So that's. I think you're going to really enjoy this. I fool around a lot when I switch wallpapers, and it always annoys me to have to add things and all that. And now I have these there, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So well done, Melbourne, and, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you another time. Bye.